In the book of Luke, chapter 19, from verse 1 to 10, you have read this before, but read it differently this time. You will understand what you have never understood before from this very scripture. It reads, Luke chapter 19, from verse 1 to verse 10. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but being a short man, he could not because of the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree to see him. Since Jesus was coming that way, when Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So he came down at once and welcomed him gladly. All the people saw this and began to mutter, he has gone to be the guest of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor. And if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. Jesus said to him, today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a son of Abraham. For the son of man came to seek and to save what was lost. Now, there are so many lessons that can be learned from what we have just read. But I want us to focus on one aspect, positioning today. This man was very short. And he was in the crowd. He couldn't see Jesus. He saw the opportunity to see Jesus. But he was blocked by the crowd. So what did he do? He took a step and changed his position. And he was able to see Jesus. This is a wise man. He's so wise. Now some people miss very good opportunities in life because they don't take a step. They don't change their position. Sometimes what you're looking for is right where you are. But you need to change that position a little and climb above the crowd. And you get it. Are you able to see when to take a step and leave your position so that you get what you want? This is something lacking in so many people. As a child of God, you must understand when you need to take a step forward so that you get what you want. Now, this man was so wise. He would have never seen Jesus if he had not changed his position. What he was looking for was right where he was. But because of the crowd, he couldn't see. Know when to change your position. Sometimes what you want is right where you are. But all you need, climb above the crowd. Now this man did not complain because of his height. We live in a world in which so many people, when they fail to achieve something, they complain because of their challenges. This man was wise. He did not complain to both man and God. He saw a tree and he ran and climbed it. And he was able to see Jesus. He got what he wanted without complaining. Are you the type who complains when you cannot get what you want? What do you do when you meet uh, challenges? As which is what you want? There are so many complaining Christians today. The blame game is rocking in the church. You go after something, you fail to get it, you start blaming people. Instead of taking responsibility. Now, not many people have learned to take responsibility over their irresponsibility in life. So the people who play the blame game are those who don't take responsibility over their irresponsibility. So they shift the blame to other people when they're responsible for their irresponsibility. Be a responsible Christian. Never blame anyone for your irresponsibility. Now the blame game is an amazing game. No one can play this game and win it. I've not met anyone 
who played the blame game and, 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 and won. Therefore, it is foolish to play this game. Now, this man overcame his challenges. He's high in the crowd. He took a step, climbed the tree, and he was able to overcome his challenges. Do you know how to overcome your challenges? So that you get what you want. This man was also very humble. Remember, he was a very rich man, so wealthy. The chief tax collector, he had a lot of money, a lot of resources. But this man humbled himself enough to climb a tree. How humble are you? Don't allow the resources you have to make you proud. You will never fulfill God's call for your life when you are proud. Amen? Amen. Are we understanding? Yes. Positioning is everything. If you must get what you want. Very important. Now this man did not allow, did not allow the crowd to block him from getting what he wanted. Now some people, when they are when in the crowd, before they take a step, they, they think, what, what will people say about me if I do this? When you are like that, then your life will be, will be controlled by other people. If you care so much about what people say about you, you will never fulfill your purpose. Now this man being a rich man, what do you think happened when people saw him climbing a tree? A well-known rich man, tax collector, climbing a tree. He didn't allow that to stop him from getting what he wanted. How bad do you want what you want? Can you climb that tree to get what you want? Or you will allow the people around you to, to block you because of what they will say about you? Never allow people's opinions to block you from doing what you want. The most important thing is, make sure what you're doing is right. Then don't care what they say about you. Be sure what you're doing is right in the eyes of God. Then don't care what they say about you. Can you imagine that some people fail in life just because of what, what, what people say about them? Other people have opinions about you. You have the facts. You have the facts. There's no person who knows you more than God. So when God reveals to you your purpose, that is it. No, no one can tell you you're not supposed to do this when God has told you to do it, and you should believe them. But you must be sure God actually told you that. Amen? Now, why is positioning very important in life? Success is not possible when you're in the wrong position. Remember this until you die. It is not possible to succeed from the wrong position. Keep that in mind. You will never do certain things in life unless you occupy certain positions. No matter how much you try, if you're in the wrong position, there are things you will never do. Do not be too lazy to take a step. Now, some people are just one step away from their success. But they need to take that step. No one will take your steps for you in life. No one. No one could climb the tree for Zacchaeus. No one. It's a very powerful story. Take your steps yourself. That's your responsibility. Not even Jesus will do that for you. Many people read the story of Zacchaeus and they don't understand that this story teaches us a lot about positioning. If you study all the great people in the Bible, they occupied certain positions before God dealt with them. 
And when they left those positions, they fell. They started to fail. It happened to Saul. God will not deal with you out of, out of position. You must be in the right position. Never forget that. Today, one of the greatest mistakes people are making that is blocking them from succeeding is occupying the wrong positions. Many people know what they want, but they don't know where to be to get that which they want. So they labor, they struggle, they don't get the results they want. Just because they're in the wrong position. So at any particular time in life, you must know where you are standing. You must know yourself. Know what you want. Know where you are. Know where you're going. And know what you need to do from where you are to get to where you want to be. Sometimes the only difference between where you're standing and where you're supposed to be is just one step. One step. But that step must be taken in the right direction. Every little step taken in the right direction gets you closer to your intended destination. Do you take the right step in the right direction? Is the question. It's very important. Now the question is, what is blocking you from taking the steps? When you check, when you check your surroundings, what crowd do you see? Have you seen that tree that you need to climb to get what you want? When you see a tree, you must take a step and climb it. Now some people, they see the tree they're supposed to climb. But they remain where they are. And expect God to come and perform some miracle. There are things God will never do for you, no matter how much you pray, how much you fast, or read your Bible. God will never do for you your responsibility. He will never take that step for you. If you find yourself in the crowd, it is your responsibility to get out of the crowd, to leave the people, and then climb the tree to see Jesus, to get what you want. 